<laughs> I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm showing you summer camp. Look at Mike. Look at that. He has to cross this log of fire and death to get to summer camp. We in Mississippi, Black River. Um, this old river in Mississippi. It's called the Black River. Whatever you want to call it, right there. And we uh, we found this spot. Me and Andrew was like, let's go find a good spot in the woods in Mississippi, away from everything. So we came out here. All right, let me fix this real quick. All right, put, get your ass in now. Yeah, I said ass. Get your ass in here. All right. Okay. I'm waiting for Mike to cross the fiery log of death. Would he make it? Would Mike? Would Mike make it? Would he crawl like a baby to get across? <laughs> he made it! Whee! All right. All right. I'm not telling you the location on the uh, Black River, but it's on the Black River in Mississippi. Yeah. All the way to get to our, our summer camp is to go through this jungle. Welcome to the jungle where we don't lie. Welcome to the jungle. Oh yeah, baby. Whew. Treacherous, horrible walk. Imagine we had to walk across that log with our backpacks and our equipment. And Andrew, Andrew brought more than he's supposed to because he was doing all kinds of tests. He brought log splitters that weigh about 100 pounds. And, and he brought our equipment out here, oh, excuse me, to test. And he said, man, I, I made a horrible mistake bringing all this stuff out here. So... He did a lot of tests out here with his equipment. Let's take a look. Getting high to the highest point on the river. This is the Black River in Mississippi. And this is basically our summer camp. Uh, Andrew Ty from here to here. His, um, his hammock. And he put his tarp over this. And this is where I put my hammock from this tree to this tree. And this is where I sat at. I made it a little different. I mean, it's all rotten now. Let's see, there we go. And we, I sat right here. Ah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. It's, it's been out here for like years. Oh man, look at my, look at my chair. It, it rotted away. I guess Andrew's chair is all rotten. Yeah, you can hear it. Well, he put his chair right there. We had him made another chair because uh, I want to sit here. Some firewood is probably all rotten by now. And he made a little fire water kettle. Probably got bees in there. Nope, they got water. I need to dump that. That water needs to be out. Yeah, keep the skeeters out. Damn skeeters. And, yep, we got a wasp nest in there. <laughs> Let's see if I can hang this up. Ah, making sure. All right. There's where well, I hung up my uh, hammock, my uh, equipment here. And over here where I brought some sticks out here to work with, make some chairs. And over here we had our you, you probably seen a previous video I sat on here, but this is rotten. It's been out here for a while. And this was, I put this on here when it struggles an ox. Now it's gone. And look at Mike. Mike came with me to Mississippi. So uh, he wanted to see the summer camp. 
He saw the hobo. He saw the uh, the base. Look at. I put all kinds of sand out here for my foundation because it was like a dip. And I put sand down over there. My chair, he saw me fell. And our firewood and some crates to put our firewood. Alright, let me show you where we were fishing at. We do a lot of fishing. You can, if you want to come, that's alright. We come up this hill. And we go down this hill. This is the highest point we fought, saw on Google Earth. So we come out here to find this place. Had like a small beach. So to get, get sand and water. We come all the way down here with buckets that we left out here. We fill it up with water, sand, dirt, whatever we want. And we fish out here. Let's take a look at our little... Our little island. This is paradise. Our little paradise. I took a bath right over there. I took a bath. Andrew told her, her his friend in Maryland that Cookie's swimming with the monsters. And that's where I was. And there you go. Black Creek, Mississippi. And our own private little beach. A hidden trail to get back to camp. There's Mike Majuri. I like the summer camp, Mike Majuri. Nice. All right. Then we go back to our camp. I make many many trips down and back and forth up this hill with sand, buckets of sand to fix my area so I can sleep better. Well I had a hammock but still I can walk level instead of all over the place. And this is a treacherous hill here. Oh god. Yes I call myself. Yeah. And we're back to summer camp. This little pocket right here, you see right here, had nothing but tree debris. And uh, me and him cut all that and made firewood. Um, the night I was supposed to come out here with him, it was freezing cold. I'm gonna say, man, my friend's out there in a the freezing cold, probably dead, frozen to death. And guess what? When I came out here, he was sitting here in his freaking underwear. I'm like, really? Yeah, I'm burning up. What? It was like 40 something degrees cold. And he's out here by a fire, which is a little campfire right here, in his freaking underwear. Well, it's like a shorts underwear so it's not like like he was naked or anything but he, he was in his shorts underwear but this is the summer camp I don't know if I want to come out here unless I have somebody come out here with me to go fishing and swimming because you can do both out here that's why we call it the summer camp but it's getting cold now and I don't think anybody's gonna be out here with us this was my chair was what was my chair and this is why I kept my I hang my hammock up and I put the flat tarp over and both our tarps met right in the middle of the trail and he had his hammock right here and his little tarp over so we had fun out here I think it was like three he'd been out here for a week by himself and it's storm cats and dogs I'm like I hope Andrew's not in the middle of the woods right now he was out in the middle of the woods here Soaking wet. I told him you should get a a fire kit, you know, a, a stove kit, stove with a pot. Oh, I don't need this. I got firewood. When it stormed like cats and dogs, he was fighting for hell to find firewood. And I said, man, you need to get one. Oh, you know what you're talking about. I hear that a lot. But guess what? After that rainy, stormy day, 
he got a fire kit, a little stove and a pot. But he sat right there cooking his fish and food and uh campfire. Let's see if this is too good. This is supposed to be oak. Nope, that's rotten too. The whole thing is rotten. It's getting there. It's been out here for a while now. Since uh, we first started, this is our first camping site here. Our first camping site. This is when Andrew called me and said, hey, let's go camping. I'm like, let's go. And this is it. I brought these bread crates to keep the food, I mean the fire, the logs on top so it won't get rotten or wet. And put a little plastic over it. It helped out a little bit. And there's my chair. Uh, that's why I made another chair because I want to sit by it. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie signing out. And that's Riri Jr. Yo, Bear Riri. Be fun, be fair, for me. All right. Cookie out. And look, there's our little beach, our private little beach on the other side of the bayou, uh, Black, by, uh, Black Creek in Mississippi. And we'll show you the other side in a few seconds. And here's the other side of our private beach. Uh, it's called it's in Mississippi, it's called the Little Black Creek, and it runs all up and down in Mississippi. So, tune in to the next, next, next video to see Kooky unpack his camming gear. You might laugh, you might cry, you might go kill Grandpa or Grandma, because you're laughing yourself to death. Die, you bitch! <laughs> so don't be a re -re. And, 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 I'm Ranger Cookie, and shining out once more into next video, where I unpack all my camping gear and show you how I use your gear. <laughs> Mama loves me!